Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today, I'm playing in the arena. And the rogue won 4 to 3 over the paladin. Not surprisingly, the warrior didn't get any votes since I just played that. So, let's pick the rogue. And starting out with an SI7 agent. Very nice. Then we have an ooze, I think. Ooze is very good in arena. Then we have a Yeti. I think that is the pick. Yeah. Very nice draft so far. And this uh, Assassinate. I mean, the other two minions are not that good. Then Assassinate is pretty good. Um, here we have the Blood Cell Vader. Oh, the Amami. The Blood Cell can be pretty good in a row. Especially if I can get a Deadly Poison or something. But even then, I can always make it a 3 3 with my hero power. Yeah, let's pick that. Shattered Sun Cleric, pretty good. These two, not very good. So, obvious choice. Eviscerate, yep, I already have an Assassinate. I got a lot of pain. I like it better than most, but I like Eviscerate even better. Uh, let's see here. Nothing too great. I mean, Raging Walk and can be interesting. I mean, sometimes you get, like, some crazy stuff going with it. Hmm. Other than that, it would be a Stormwind Knight. I think it's pretty close, but let's pick the Vulcan here. Uh, these cards are not very good. This one has potential if I had, like, Assassin's Blade, Deadly Poison, and so on. But as it is, it's kind of like a 3-3. Free -free. I think it's gonna be most of the time with the Hero Power. But then I do need the hero power equipped. But the thing is, the other choices are so bad. I'm gonna pick this and hope I get some deadly poisons. Because with deadly poison, you can play it for one. That's pretty good. Um, Sun Fairy Protector. The other two are pretty bad. Oh, Conceal. I'm not a Miracle Rogue. Vanish? Eh, I don't think so. I'm gonna pick have to beat the Grizzly. I don't think it's good, but. Oh, two very nice choices here, but I don't have any other, you know, deadly or anything. I think I need an Assassin's Blade here. Close call though, but still, I want a weapon. Um, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty okay. Let's see, how are we doing? Doing? Pretty decent for two drops there. Um, Sentient Spellbreaker. Both are pretty good. I think I'll pick the Spellbreaker because there's, I mean, with the um, Nax, there's so many things to silence. It's pretty close though. And I think a lot of people will probably pick the Shieldmaster, but I like to have a uh, silence. This is terrible. This one is out completely. I'm not picking the Stone Skin Gargoyle. And then we have these two. A 2-2 two -two for 3 mana or a 4-4 four -four for 5 mana. This one has a sometimes useful battle cry. I guess it could be used on the Raging Wargan. It's not good. But this one is worse, I think. I'll pick this one and hope I can get some Raging Wargan synergy. Um, and then we have the fires, the trail, conceal. Hmm. I kind of liked the trail last time we played. Uh, I played with the rogue in the arena. I'll I'll pick one of those. Close call though. I don't really like any of these very much for Arena, but Walking and Full Trader can be alright. Let's pick that. Um, kind of low on card draw. I don't have any spell power in the deck at all. The thing is, I mean, I'm just looking at this deck here and I'm gonna run out of options pretty fast. Let's pick a shift here. I have a lot of two drops and 
Now let's pick a spin because of what I just said. Kodo, I love the Kodo. Dancing Swords, nah. Harvest Golem, yeah, please. You want another Assassin made? Probably the other two minions are not that good. But then again, do I really want two Assassinates? Okay, so how am I on free drops? I have lots of free drops. I don't really want to abuse Exotium. Okay, let's pick another Assassinate. Don't want this sap. I already have two Assassinates, so I don't need... Oh, man. Like this... Well, it could work out. I do have to sprint, but what if I don't draw the sprint? It could become really bad. The Harvest Golem is really good, but I need some kind of late game. Like, I have one minion that costs five or more. I need to think clear. Mm. Is that no, I don't I don't think so. But well How many I have so many two drops already? Well I guess it's not that many yet. Well I have five and a one drop. Let's pick it. Let's have some fun with it. Uh, I have too much early game. Let's get some late game here. Because I have a lot of small minions. I could benefit a lot from that. A lot of small minions. I think I can often get this to be a 6-6 six, six or more. Which means that it, you know, be pretty much as good as that. Just without the downside. I'll just pick this. Another ooze? Another sprint? <laughs> Two sprints early on in your hand would just be catastrophic. I'm going to pick another ooze. Uh, Brewmaster is decent. Okay, last pick. I think the Defender of Arcus fits in perfectly in this deck. So let's go with it. It's it's all right. Uh, I don't have any deadly poisons, but I do have an eviscerate, and it's a harvest golem. It's a seven assassin's blade. It's probably a pretty average deck. Let's see what we get. Hopefully, something we can beat. <laughs> no, this is not what I want. Not any of this. I have a lot of two drops. I should be able to draw one of them. And there we go. Pretty nice curve. Ball. Hmm. Well, now I'm tempted to just coin out my daggers, and I think I will. Kill that. Well, starting out with a great card advantage. But, I do have to be careful with my health versus a hunter. Especially as a rogue, because I mean, I keep hurting myself, they keep hurting me. Hmm. Could go bad. But, okay, so Blood Silveda, that's pretty good. Kill that. But if I fall behind on Tembo, I'm probably gonna lose here. I don't have a lot of ways to make a comeback with this deck. Well, maybe Assassin's Blade, but the thing is, Assassin's Blade killing a lot of minions versus a hunter is probably not gonna go that well. Uh, let's see. Too bad I can't combo into the Eviscerate here. Could just 
like make my regular darkness and kill it and I think I will it's like very inefficient mana wise but super efficient card wise and the only way I could kill it this turn would be with eviscerate or dagger right now both would be pretty awkward but I still have a free two I have a one one equipped way more cards than him hmm Explosive, I assume. Could Panda it back, but honestly, I have such a big card advantage. I'm not really worried about losing the card, and I want to trigger the trap now rather than later. Let's see what it is. It could be something else. Okay, it's freezing trap. Yeah, very glad I didn't panther it back then. So, I think I'll just play the panda. Hmm. I still haven't done any damage to him, unfortunately. He's managing to avoid any attacks by throwing away his cards, but it could work out for him. Okay, is that all you can do? Another trap. I wonder if that's freezing again. Could also be misdirection. Doubt it's explosive this time. Let's just let's see what it is. It's another freezing. That's fine. Uh, I think I'll play. I don't have any way to enrage it. Well, it could be misrated, but okay. Let's just get these two out. I think I'll just attack with my dagger. I might use Assassin's Blade next time. Maybe. But I think Assassin's Blade would be more for face damage than killing minions at this point. Assassination would be pretty decent right here. But I think I'm probably gonna eviscerate it and kill it with the harvest garland. Let's see. So what do I want to combo with it? So many options. Could play the noob. Uh, but then You know what? It fits the best here. It sure it will return a minion, but the other alternatives I have are pretty bad, like a 2 free Spillbreaker. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the, this one. Then this, that, that. Okay, now we're actually getting some damage in and have achieved board control. Could even silence my ambusher. Uh, so what do I want to do here? Could play the Stormwind Champion, but then if it gets returned by that one's death, that would be pretty bad. So I, uh, that's kind of why it's not that good. Uh, maybe I'll just silence it. Silence and walking. Your 
magic shall not save you. Hmm. I don't think that's like a very strong use of silence, but it seemed appropriate at the time. That's what he's for too. He should probably trade with the 5 2. Or maybe the Raging Walk, because in case I have a way to enrage it. Not the 4 uh, 2 1, surely. <laughs> Alright, so he's going hyper aggressive. Assassination. Hmm. Do that. I don't really want to take any more damage. I was thinking Assassin's Blade, but do I want to go down to 12 versus a Hunter? No. No. Uh, let's see, I have 7, 12, 14. If I had a shift, I would actually have lethal. I could shift that and assassinate that. I do not have that though. Do it. I'm not really sure. Play this one? Wait. Does that give me lethal then? I don't think so. Do that. That's 5, 11, 14. Wait, so I do have lethal. Wow, I almost missed it. <laughs> okay, well, at least I got it. I don't have to point it out in the comments. Let's see what we get next. That was... Close one of me missing lethal. Let's see here. The light shall bring victory. Watch your uh, oh, SS7. I probably want to coin that out, which means I need another free drop. Hmm. I'll keep the two drop just in case I change my mind for some reason. Let's see. Mm, no. I, well, I hope he plays a free two. If he doesn't, then I might just play the two drop. Excellent. That's why I love the SI7. So, let's do this. this guy's tough. And I have the MVP Kodo. Very nice start. Hmm, indeed. Well, that's a little annoying. Again, no way to combo into the eviscerate here, so... How do I do this? 
See, the thing is, if he gives that power word shield and kills that, that, that would be really bad. So I think I have to trade. At least next turn I can come point to this array. Oh yeah, Panda, but that doesn't seem... Wait. <laughs> this could be very... Like, what else is he gonna do here? Because if I can just kill that and get disenraged... Okay. I think I'll just play a taunt to hide it behind them. I could play the... The two two drops. Um, do you want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just be aggressive here. That has to be one of the worst moves I've seen for a while. Unless it's because he was planning for Holy Nova, actually, that could be it, I guess, but. Still, no, that's not what he was planning. Maybe as a smite. But even then, it would still be a two for one. So yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Uh oh, get a huge wallow. This game could be a short one. I actually have Leapal already on board if he doesn't do anything. Assassinate! Jerk. Someone called Let's see here. 5, 8, 13. Eviscerate. So we do that. 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 And that. All right, that was an easy game. Let's see what we have next. Maybe something a bit more challenging. First one game was definitely harder than this one. Traditionally, the rogues are pretty good against warlocks. I mean, usually warlocks in arena are more like Sue than handlocks, at least. And I'm more like a tempo rogue than a miracle rogue. Not that miracle rogues are bad versus Sue either, actually. Yeah. Well, as long as he doesn't have board giants, I should be fine. Even though my opening hand is not exactly optimal. Unless he plays like a 2 1. The Murloc Raider. The light protects me. Mm, that's actually okay. I can make good use of my hero power against that. Do that. It's interesting, right? Because I basically take. Well, actually, I take 3 damage and use 2 mana to kill that. But he can replace it with life tactic. Oh. <laughs> well, I got completely negates everything I just said. Huh. Okay, well, let's play the Harvest Golem. See, again here, like, the Ambusher can become kinda awkward. Now let's see. One shot. Okay, well now it's not. Now it's fine. It's perfect now. So let's play that, kill that, that, 
Oh, let's see what else he plays. Nothing. I have a feeling that this cap will come in useful. I mean, I know he has an Arjun Squire in his end, so... Put this apple on your head. Mm -hmm. the light protects me. It's funny, I don't even mind the Stampeding Kodo being returned that much. So let's do this. Ah, he still has so many cards. Warlocks. For the king. Ah, sometimes I have to try and make a constructed deck that ticks. Makes good use of the ambushes. Just a fin creeper. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense here. Mm, that's strong. Uh, let's see. Too bad I can't assassinate stealthy creatures. Uh, I could play a two drop and then play the Warlock, and I think I will. There's no real point in giving it Taunt. I would give it Taunt if that one didn't already have Taunt. But now giving it Taunt just gives him more options in what to attack. Siphon Soul. Nah, yeah, that's fine. That's 6 mana for 5 mana. Interesting. He... Okay. Well... Yeah, now he's gonna be wary of playing small minions, because you know I have the Kodo. I don't think he has any AoE, but you never know. Saving the ooze in case he has your access. Um, not really, but I think four minions that's enough for right now. Oh my! <laughs> oh, of course, of course, he gets the big one. What else? Hmm. Well, that was pretty bad. So many oh, do I assassinate that? The thing is, my hand is not really great here. Uh, so I think... Assassinate. That's 6 HP. It's just so difficult to get rid of. And... I'll do... That. Mm, I don't like this at all. And he has the card advantages too. Man, that mind control tech changed everything. That was worse than a Black Knight. For three mana too. Oh boy. Well, let's see. Is there anything useful I can do here? Kill that with my dagger. That's decent. I can silence the shield of that. Yeah, I guess. So I played it. 
Ooh. Is there any reason? Like, which one would I want to buff? I don't see any real advantages in buffing any specific one of them. So let's just even out the strength. And he knows exactly which card I have. <laughs> oh, and he has seven cards. Hmm. Oh. Okay. That makes me very sad. I think at this point, I just have to go for it. It's probably not gonna work. But I think it's the only hope I have left here. I had mind control tech. Everything was fine. Okay, so this is a pretty good deck he has. <laughs> okay. Um. Well. Let's attack, and hope for a miracle. Probably just gonna die this turn, yeah. Well, that was a good deck. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.